Greetings fellow Whovians, hope you're having a good week so far, and I hope you had all have that, well, the majority of you had a nice three day weekend. So today we're going to be doing our, our look at the Key to Time story arc with the Pirate Planet. So here we go. The Key to Time Tracer points the Dr. Armana to the cold and boring planet of Califrax, but when they arrive they find an unusual civilization that lives in perpetual prosperity. Huh. A strange band of people with mysterious powers, known as the Menti Mentiads, are feared by the society, but the doctor discovers that they are good people, but with an unknown purpose. Do -do 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 -do. He instead fears the captain, the planet's leader and benefactor. After meeting the captain on the bridge, he learns that they are actually on a hollowed out planet named Xanak, which has been materializing around other planets to plunder their resources. Uh oh. After repairing Xanax engines, which were damaged when the planet materialized in the same place as the TARDIS, the captain plans to take Xanax to Earth. The doctor finds that the true menace controlling the captain is the ancient tyrant Queen Xanzia, disguised as the captain's nurse, who uses the resources mined from planets in an attempt to gain immortality. Despite the captain's apparent insanity, he is a calculating person who plans to destroy who plans to destroy Xanzia. <coughs> Xanzia. The Mentiads learn that their psychic powers are strengthened by the destruction of entire worlds beneath their feet. Throughout Xanak, the Keto Time Locator has been giving odd signals that seem to indicate that the segment is everywhere. Once the Doctor Romana sees the cap see the captain's trophy room of planets, they conclude that Califrax is the segment that they are looking for. Huh, interesting. They use the TARDIS to once again disrupt Xanax's materialization around Earth, while the Mentiads sabotage the engines. Xanzia kills the captain when he finally turns against her. The Doctor Romana and the Mentiads destroy Xanax's bridge and Queen Xanzia, ending the devastation caused by Xanax's travels. And eventually they get the second piece to the gate of time, and then they go off on the right away. So, yeah. Anyway, let's look at some continuing production and outside references here. This is the second of six Link serials that comprise the whole of Season 16, collect collectively known as the Key to Time. While unconscious on the bridge, the Doctor mumbles, No more Janus Thorns. The admonishment he used several times on former companion Leela, particularly in the face of evil. The pirate captain appears in the regeneration montage in Legopolis. The Tent Doctor ma mentions Califrax Minor as, one the, as being one of the missing planets in the stolen Earth. The original draft for the story was extremely complex. Centered on a Time Lord trapped in a giant aggression absorbing machine and, and several paradoxes, it had to be heavily, heavily simplified by the script editor, Anthony Redd. According to the DVD commentary, the Doctor's accident with the console early in the story was staged to explain Baker's real life cut lip, which was due to a dog bite. The scenes in the engine room were filled at the Berkeley Nuclear Power Station, which made many of the cast and crew rather nervous. Yeah, I'd be nervous too. Anyway, V. Delmar, who played Queen Xanzia uncredited, asked for extra payment to remove her false teeth in her scenes. David Warwick later played the police commissioner in Army of Ghosts, and David Garner in the audio play The Harvest. The doctor claims to have met Isaac Newton and says he dropped an apple on Newton's head to make him discover gravity. Instead of making the connection, Newton told the doctor to clear out of his tree. The doctor explained gravity afterwards at a dinner. Huh, interesting. So overall, it was a pretty interesting story, and well, I wish that the pirates, and well, the pirate stuff is actually kind of interesting, but not so much. So overall, I give the pirate planet three sonic screwdrivers out of five. Well, join me next week as we take a look at the Stones of Blood. <laughs> so until then, this is Hooping Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt, when I say run, run, I have a versatility of the neutron flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic. Alon Z. Geronimo. Bowties are cool. Fezzes are cool. And Stetsons are cool. <laughs>